Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Bill and it's great to be with you again. Today is a special day. Do you know what special day it is? Well, it's Mother's Day. I hope you didn't forget. Is your mom with you right now? If so, take a moment to say Happy Mother's Day to her. If your mother is not with you, we can still be so thankful for our moms. My mom is not with me because 10 years ago, she went to be with the Lord in heaven. But I will always be so thankful for her. That's a picture of her on the screen. Hey, let's take a moment to thank God for our moms. Would you pray with me right now? Heavenly Father, thank you for our moms. Thank you that they love us so much. Thank you for all they do for us. They, they just take care of us in such a great way. Uh, Lord, we're so grateful for giving, for you giving us our moms. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I've got a question for you. What's one of your favorite sandwiches? Well, one of my favorite sandwiches is peanut butter and jelly. I'm going to make one right now. Because you see, when I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it makes me think of my mom. You see, she put a special ingredient in all of her sandwiches. Guess what it was? It was love. You see, now when I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I just kind of slap the peanut butter and jelly on the bread, kind of like this. Man, that looks good. Spread it around a little bit. Then get some peanut butter. Put it on there too. Mm -mm -mm. This looks good. Now put those two slices together. Wow, look at that. But you know, when my mom made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for me, she would take time to cut off all the crust, and then she would cut the sandwich diagonally. That was her way of showing that little extra love to me. Now, if your mom doesn't do that, it doesn't mean she doesn't love you, because I'm sure your mom shows her love for you in other special ways. And that's what I really wanted to talk about this morning. I want to talk to you about love, especially about God's love. And you know what? A mother's love might be the closest thing to God's love we will experience here on earth. Let me try to explain. Here's a picture of my mom holding me when I was a baby. That was a long time ago. Before I loved my mom, she loved me. Before she ever saw me, she loved me. Before I could say, I love you, mommy, she loved me. Before I could love her in return, she loved me. God's love is the same way. 1 John 4, 19 says this, We love because He first loved us. You see, God loved us first. Before we loved Him, He loved us. Before we even wanted to love God, He loved us. Another verse that says something very similar is 1 John 4, verse 10. It says this, This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. God didn't wait for us to love him before he loved us. He reached out to us in love and sent Jesus to die for our sins. Well, you know that little baby in the picture? Well, he grew up to be a boy. And that boy would often choose to do the wrong thing. And sometimes that boy would even disobey his mother. But you know what? My mother still loved me when I did the wrong thing. My mom loved me when I was sometimes unlovable. That's the same with God. Romans 5.8 says this, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Not only did God love us before we loved him, but he loved us when we were at our worst. When we were still living a life of disobeying God, He loved us by sending Jesus to die for us. God didn't wait for us to change. He loved us when we were unlovable. And finally, my mom never stopped loving me. Through all the changes I went through in life, she always loved me. She loved me through the good and the bad. The same is true for God. He will never stop loving you. His love never ends. His love never runs out. 1 Corinthians 13.8 says, Love never fails, and God's love for you will never fail. 
A mother's love might be the closest thing to God's love we will experience here on earth. And I hope this talk has helped you to understand how much God loves you. It's true. God loves you. But the question is, do you love God? The greatest way that we can show God that we love him is by receiving Jesus as our Savior. Have you ever done that? If not, why don't you do it? It's really pretty simple. You must believe and receive. First, you must believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died on the cross for your sins, and that three days later he rose from the dead. Then you must turn from your sinful ways and receive Jesus into your life. Would you like to do that? If so, please pray this prayer with me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me as much as you do. Thank you for loving me first. Lord, thank you for loving me before I could even say I love you. Thank you for being with me and loving me through all the things in my life. And thank you, Lord, that your love will never end. God, I want to love you. And now I want to receive Jesus as my Savior. I come to you and I want you to know that I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that he died on the cross for my sins. And I believe he rose from the dead three days later. And now I turn from my sin and I turn to you and receive Jesus into my life as my Savior. Thank you for coming into my life, Jesus. And again, Father, thank you for loving me as much as you do. I pray in Jesus' name. That's awesome. I hope you did that. And you, if you did, tell someone like your parents or maybe a pastor. Now it's time for our memory verse. I'm going to give you a short one for the week. And it's that verse, 1 John 4, 19, which says, We love because he first loved us. Okay, let's do some hand motions. They're pretty simple uh, today or for the week. It goes like this. We love because he first loved us. All right, let's do it one more, one more time. 1 John 4.19. We love because he first loved us. One more time. 1 John 4.19. We love because he first loved us. All right, hope you can get that down. It's a pretty easy one. Hey, you know what? I'm getting pretty hungry. And this peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it looks really good. Mmm. One of my favorites. Hey, does anybody have a cold glass of milk?